latitude, a geographic coordinate specifying any north-south position on Earth. It is an angle measured above or below the plane perpendicular to Earth's rotational axis that divides Earth evenly into northern and southern hemispheres. Latitude ranges from zero degrees, where that plane intercepts the Earth's surface, to 90 degrees north at the north axis pole, and to 90 degrees south at the south pole. Lines of constant latitude, called parallels, run east-west as concentric circles on the globe, shown here with a 10 degree interval, with decreasing circumferences approaching the poles. These circles plot as equal length, straight parallel lines on the Mercator projection. The equator, of course, is a special latitude in relation to Earth's rotation, as well as the origin for geographic coordinates, latitude zero degrees. Owing to Earth's axis being tilted at 23.44 degrees from the orbit plane axis, another special latitude is the Trop of Cancer, the northernmost latitude where the sun can be observed directly overhead. This occurs on the June solstice when the northern hemisphere is maximally tilted towards the sun. The southern hemisphere counterpart is the Tropic of Capricorn, where the sun passes directly overhead on the December solstice. Another type of special latitude resulting from Earth's tilt is the Arctic Circle, the southernmost latitude where the sun will not set all day on the June solstice. Therefore, on this solstice, there are 24 hour long days at latitudes north of the Arctic Circle. Also on the solstice, at equally high latitudes of the southern hemisphere, there is no sunrise and thus 24 hours of night. The southern hemisphere counterpart is the Antarctic Circle, with the seasonally flip pattern. On the December solstice, there are 24 hour long nights north of the Arctic Circle and 24 hour long days south of the Antarctic Circle. This set of special parallels relate to latitudinal patterns of insulation, which controls global climatic zones. For latitudes of interest in terms of land ocean coverage, there's a range of Arctic latitudes spanning only seawater or sea ice above 84 degrees north over the Arctic Ocean, shown here in a polar projection on which parallels plot as circles again. In the Southern Hemisphere, most latitudes from 56 to 63 degrees south span only Southern Ocean waters, with fairly negligible interruptions by a few minor islands. And there's a range of latitudes uniquely spanning only land south of 86 degrees south over the Antarctic ice cap. Outside of Antarctica, the Southern Hemisphere latitude proportionally spanning the most land is three degrees south, capturing a fairly wide transect of South America and Southern Hemisphere Africa, as well as some of the larger islands of Southeast Asia. And for the more continent-heavy Northern Hemisphere, the most land-spanning parallel is close to the Arctic Circle at 66 degrees, crossing wide swaths of both North America and Eurasia. For hottest and coldest latitudes, the main control is annual insulation, which is greatest at the equator and lowest at the poles. The hottest parallel is 13 degrees north of the equator, owing to the greater land cover of the northern hemisphere and because land surfaces absorb more of that insulation energy than water. High Antarctic parallels are the coldest, significantly colder than the Arctic due to less ocean moderation and because of additional cooling with elevation and greater perpetual snow and ice cover. For annual precipitation, there are distinct latitudinal bands resulting from global atmospheric circulation. Greatest precipitation occurs within the rain belt of the intertropical convergence zone, which seasonally migrates north and south of the equator. This rain belt is stronger and less interrupted along parallels off of the equator, particularly over the warmer north, with a maximum at 7 degrees. Antarctica stands out again latitudinally for the least precipitation, as this major landmass falls under a dominating circulation pattern of a stable polar high. Wind velocities also show strong latitudinal variations of alternating prevailing direction from atmospheric circulation with strong wind bands known as easterlies and westerlies. Infamously known to sailors, strongest mean winds occur over the Southern Ocean where the westerlies are unimpeded by land masses. Weakest winds are in the Arctic region contrasting with Antarctica, where strong land winds occur from catabac flows off the high Antarctic ice sheet. With latitudinal climatic trends, there's also latitudinal patterns associated with Earth's biomes. The parallel most dominated by each major biome include 
62 degrees north for boreal forests, 53 north for temperate coniferous, 50 north for temperate grasses, 46 north for temperate broadleaf and mixed forests, 37 north for Mediterranean, 36 for montane grasses and shrubs, 28 north for desert and xeric shrubs, 3 degrees south for tropical and subtropical forests, 18 south for tropical and subtropical grasses, and over 86 degrees south for tundra. How about some natural disasters? Tropical cyclones clearly have a strong latitude-based pattern, starting with formation over warm tropical waters. They don't form on the equator, where there isn't the needed spin from Coriolis deflection. There's also the lack of tropical cyclones over the Southeast Pacific and South Atlantic oceans, where waters are too cold. Their paths tend to follow low-latitude easterlies before hooking into mid-latitude westerlies. The parallel of most tropical cyclone track crossings is 18 degrees north. Do you think earthquakes are more randomly distributed? They are more broadly distributed globally. 38 degrees north has the highest earthquake count, as that latitude follows along the long and highly active orogenic belt passing through southern Europe and Asia. Let's finally look at some human pertaining latitude patterns. The whole number degree of latitude crossing the most countries is 11 degrees north, intersecting 26 countries. But if you add in some decimal places, there are two narrow latitude bands that cross 27 countries slightly further north. Here's the option one and two list for getting up to 27. The most countries crossed by parallels in the southern hemisphere is 14 countries, by both 17 and 18 degrees south. For population distribution by latitude, the most populous parallel centers on 26 north. Adding population density product, you can see that this latitude runs right through the densely populated northern plain of India. The southern hemisphere population spike clearly aligns with the world's most populous island of Java, one of the greater southern islands of Indonesia. For wealth, measured by a separate gridded GDP product, that shows some major peaks shifted further north than the most populated latitudes, with a maximum GDP peak at 36 degrees north, which runs through a wide span of North America, northernmost Africa, and some of the richer parts of East Asia. Secondary peaks for GDP align with wealthy regions further north in North America and then Europe, and further south for some of the wealthy population centers in South, East, and Southeast Asia. Here is a concluding list of all the mentioned latitudes in this video. Thank you for watching. See video text for methods and sources, and please like, subscribe, or watch more Geography Fizz.